Hello everybody, Richard Arbast here, welcome to the Fertile Crumpet episode number two. Let's just say this episode didn't nearly happen today, just been uh, extremely busy at work and feeling a bit tired and also this weekend I'm working overtime. So tonight I'll be heading off at my usual time around about between 10 to 8 and 5 past 8 and I'm back in tomorrow night as well so I'll be working 12 days straight by the time I get back uh, to next Thursday so I probably won't be doing the next weekend coming up after this one I'll skip possibly towards the end of the month still a load of overtime to go towards my uh, van fund. Uh, the reason why I've chosen a van and not a car is because I want to put different things in the back because to get extra money in I'm planning on doing some things at a weekend but that might change soon anyway. I'll keep you posted on the changes at work that could be coming. What else have I learnt this week? I've been doing more of the handouts supplied to me by Craig O'Neill, which is very generous of him. I haven't done anything today because I've just been trying to catch up on my sleep all day. And are you going down the pub tomorrow? It's quite funny how Boris, I don't normally talk politics, but we will do on this occasion. It's funny how Boris has come out and said, yeah, everyone behave yourselves. Yeah, that's going to happen. The police are going to be having some uh, right fun, I think, in the lead up to the pub's opening. I bet they're dreading it. I don't know how on earth they're going to enforce it unless they have uh, bounces on the door to stop you from getting in because I think how I've learned how it's going to work is either you book in advance and you order your drinks and your food via the their apps they are providing or you can walk in but wait for a staff to see you and as soon as all the tables are full I believe inside and outside they won't let any more people in. So people are going to get uh, fed up and frazzled. And also it's come out that Weatherspoons have said they won't be switching the TVs on uh, in July. I suppose it's to stop people from hanging around too long in the pubs. I believe there's some places are going to limit you to roughly two hours before you have to go and they can then clean the tables up but hopefully this won't last too long hopefully uh, lockdown will be gone by the end of September well that's that's my optimist optimistic thinking there but I don't see why it should but I own enough of the political ramblings and talking about diseases and stuff so if you like this uh, podcast this episode of the podcast don't forget to comment like and subscribe yes we're just going to put this exclusively on youtube for now because i haven't got around to sorting uploads elsewhere so as i say don't forget to comment like and subscribe and if you like this episode or any other videos on my channel please consider hitting that subscribe button and to the right of that smash that bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video and of course select all and so then you'll get all notifications so thanks for listening and I'll s well I'll see you all next Friday ta-ta for now